This is a jewel thief. I've got several videos on them and they are a device that is made to use the last little bit of energy from say a AAA or AA battery. Typically they run on one volt or less because it is a dying battery. The current, well that's the trick is to try to get the thing to run on the least amount of current so you tune it for that. But one of the questions I've been asked many times is what is the operating frequency of these things? And I finally got a setup where I can show that. So let's uh, cut to the uh, oscilloscope and take a look at uh, two of these. I've got one I'll call the brown one and then I've got the blue one. Okay, so let's go do that. This is the blue jewel thief and I have it running right now on one volt. You can see the wave that it's producing and this is kind of interesting. It's not a sine wave as I had originally anticipated. It is a square wave. Um, yeah, kind of, uh, kind of an interesting thing. And if we look down here, here is the frequency. So I've got it at one volt and is it at 12.1 kilohertz? Let's call it that. Um, if I adjust the voltage, let's go down a little bit. So the battery is dying. And now we have 0.9, so it goes up to 12. Point, what is that? 12.9. Go down to 0.7, it jumps to 13.5. Kind of interesting as the voltage is going down, the frequency is going up. 15. Uh, it's 0.5 volts at 17 kilohertz. And a little bit lower. 0.4, 33 kilohertz, but it's starting to get unstable. 0.3, wow, 100 and yeah, it's jumping all over the place, but in the 100, 150, 170 range uh, kilohertz, and then my guess is at 0.2, it's going to quit, yeah. So what's it going to take to get back? There's 0.3, it hasn't started yet. There's 0.4, so it takes about 0.4 volts to, uh, to trigger it, uh, get it going. What else is interesting? Uh, Vmin point is 4 volts. Uh, duty cycle is 75 at 0.4. It's kind of interesting. Let's see if we get it back to 1 volt. And the duty cycle is about 50%, 45%, call it. Uh, what else is interesting? Peak to peak is 256 millivolts. V average is 111 millivolts. Okay, so V max, uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you can look at these others, but those are the most interesting things. Let's look at the, uh, at the uh, brown one and compare those two and see uh, if they have the same specs. Now, they were built uh, from the same batch of parts, so they have the same transistor batch, the same LED batch, and the same coil batch, torrid batch. Okay, let's do that. We have the same setup with the with the uh, brown jewel thief and right now it's operating at one volt if we go over here and look at the oscilloscope we have 12 kilohertz so very close to the other one when uh, it's also at one volt uh, four millivolts here uh, what else is interesting peak to peak is 328 not too far off uh, the average is uh, 112, and if I remember right, the other one is 111. Uh, let's see, peak to peak, 320, so a little different. Uh, Vmax, 324. Okay, so let's uh, vary the voltage and see what happens. Let's drop it to 0.9. There's 0.9, and the frequency, frequency stays at 12.2, call it. Drop a little more. Save uh, 0 0.8, 12.1, uh, 0.7, get up again, 0.7, 11.8, uh, 0 0.6, 11.2. 0 .6, 11 so this one's uh, remarkably stable. 0 0.5 is 10.8, 10.9, 0 0.4, 12, 12 is uh, 10.5. Now we look at the duty cycle has gone from roughly 50% to about 80%. Uh, 
and 0.3 and it's still with us at uh, 11 point we call it 11 and a half oh 12 okay so relatively stable this is 0.2 volts it's uh, jumped up to about let's call it 19 roughly 19 kilohertz and the duty cycle has gone up to 86 percent and there's 0.1 volts and it collapses let's see what it takes to come back up again there's 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.3 whoops jumped too fast let's collapse it again 0 0.1 0 0.2 point slowly slowly come on 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.3 not there yet and 0.4 before it starts to oscillate and let's go back up I think I forgot to look at the duty cycle at one volt there is one volt and the duty cycle is roughly 50 percent 49 percent again the same kind of uh, curve this square wave here's the overshoot on it so it's ringing uh, overshoots and it comes back down but uh, yeah, I find this rather fascinating that uh, I was sure it was going to be a, a closer to a sine wave than this. Um, okay, well, that's about it for uh, answering the question on the frequency of these jewel thieves. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your home DIY electric experimentation.